Hello, this is Jason Dragon, the founder and creator of the Ethereum Mining Group here on Facebook. Uh, we currently have over 9,000 members. I'm also the owner and founder of Emerald Computers. And today we're going to be talking about a very interesting subject. It's going to be the creation of Bitcoin Cash and how it affects Ethereum. So, Bitcoin Cash, as everybody should probably know, is going to be created from a hard fork on August 1st. It happens around noon London time. So here in the West Coast of America, that's going to be something about five o'clock in the morning. Um, what is happening is there's been a fight in the world of Bitcoin over the last couple years about some changes that they wanted to do in the underlying architecture of how Bitcoin worked. Those changes really have been controlled by a small group of people and that group unfortunately didn't really want to grow Bitcoin as much as some other people who wanted to make it more of a viable marketplace commodity. So what's happening is they're going to create a whole new currency and for every coin that you have in Bitcoin right now or at 5 a.m. on August 1st, you will be given another Bitcoin cash coin for free. Um, just like when Ethereum Classic was invented, for every Ethereum you held, you also got one Ethereum Classic. Now, this isn't a universal thing. I'll talk about that in a little bit later. So, people right now are investing a large amount of money in Bitcoin. That's kind of why there's been so much volatility. Um, if you notice about a week ago, the price of Bitcoin really went down. That's because there was talks that this fork wasn't going to happen. And then now that we're pretty sure that this fork is going to happen, people are flooding into the market. They're doing it because they want to get the free piece of Bitcoin cash. Right now, it's going to be a completely separate coin, just like Bitcoin. It's going to be very, very viable. Um, I predict it's going to be kind of like Ethereum Classic where there's going to be two coins pretty much forever, but one of them is going to take over and become the market leader. And at this point in time, nobody knows which one that's going to be. Is it going to be Ethereum? Um, is it going to be the Bitcoin that's going to take over or is Bitcoin Cash going to take over? It's going to also kind of be the same way Ethereum Ethereum Classic was, Who, whichever one has the most devs, the most miners, the most supporters, that's going to be the one that's going to take over. So people are quickly investing in Bitcoin right now so they can get their free Bitcoin cash. The futures markets for Bitcoin cash right now as of about a couple hours ago when I last looked are already trading at over $400 for Bitcoin cash. So with Bitcoin trading at over $2,800, really, that means you're getting a $3,200 reward for what you could have purchased a day or two ago for $2,500. So what that has done to Ethereum over the last couple days is really depleted the price of Ethereum. There's only, I mean, there's so much cash in the cryptocurrency world and if somebody, if everybody wants to buy one particular coin, they're going to take some of it from other coins, which is why you've seen Ethereum drop from about 220 to 200, all the way down to about 180. And as I record this video, it's back up to about 195. So I think that that's going to continue. And prob probably, I, I don't really see Ethereum cracking 200 in the next day or two. Um, simply because people are taking their money out of Ethereum and putting in Bitcoin. After August 1st, though, however, people are going to take their newly found free currency, uh, Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, and I believe a lot of them are going to buy Ethereum. A lot of people are looking at Ethereum. They've been in Ethereum. That's maybe where they made their money. A lot of the miners of themselves are going in and buying Bitcoin Cash right now. So I think there's a really good likelihood that once they get their free Bitcoin cash, they're going to jump right back into Ethereum. They're going to, it's going to be 
difficult for a little while because we don't really know which one will become the standard after the hard fork. Um, Bitcoin Cash is going to have a much larger transaction base. So significantly more transactions are going to be able to happen every minute on Bitcoin Cash than currently can happen on Bitcoin. Um, that's going to definitely make Bitcoin more efficient. If you've been watching it at all for the last six months, nine months, um, transfers on Bitcoin have been taking forever simply because there's not enough room to run that many transactions that people want to run. So anyway, Bitcoin Cash is also going to be a mineable currency just like Bitcoin. And I believe that people... Oh, a huge amount of the miners that currently mine Bitcoin are probably going to be switching over to Bitcoin Cash. Um, but also miners that are currently mining Ethereum will therefore switch to Bitcoin or Bitcoin Cash also because maybe that's where they came from. Maybe that's what they know. So I think there's a good chance that the actual difficulty of mining Ethereum will probably go down. A little bit for the short term of course every day people are building new rigs and buying new rigs I get phone calls almost every single day um, well orders almost every single day phone calls definitely every single day um, inquiring about building more mining rigs for um, ethereum so right there difficulty for ethereum should drop a bit but not very noticeable because there are going to be a lot of new rigs so I would say in a in within a few weeks or even a month, um, the difficulty will be right back where it is. So, one little scary side note is Bitcoin Cash, because it is able to handle more transactions, and one of the main reasons that Ethereum became so popular recently was because Bitcoin really couldn't keep up with the amount of transactions that people wanted to do, but Bitcoin Cash can do these transactions, and we might see a pretty significant um, amount of people who are developing and using Ethereum on a regular basis switch over to Bitcoin Cash. I don't know if that's going to happen or not. Uh, most of the development on, you know, Bitcoin Cash is going to work almost identical to the way Bitcoin does. So I believe it's going to be pretty easy for a developer to just simply switch over to that currency. Anyway, we'll see what happens with the actual people who use it. I know I was one of the people who was really frustrated about trying to do transactions on Bitcoin. So I started doing all of my um, transactions in Ethereum. Um, I don't know how many people are going to go back to Bitcoin and also Bitcoin Cash and maybe leave Ethereum, which that could have a long-term negative effect on Ethereum and the Ethereum ecosystem. It's definitely going to make it its own standalone uh, system much more than it is right now where it's very uh, Bitcoin dependent and it gets most of its uh, you know, users from Bitcoin. So I think in the short, short term, the price of Ethereum is definitely after August 1st, after it is 5 a.m. on August 1st and people get their new you know, it's probably going to take a couple hours for them to get their Bitcoin cash. Um, I think it's going to go way up. I, I could see by second week in August, $300 Ethereum being a very likely thing. Um, of course, this video will be on YouTube well past then, and we'll know for sure. And, you know, if I'm wrong, I'm sure people will comment and say how crazy I was. But um, it's just a prediction based upon logic. I don't think we're going to see much of a movement on Ethereum between now and August 1st. Um, there might even be a little bit of a sell-off, so I think it's more likely to go down between now and August 1st than up. So, on a side note, if you are one of the people who decide to buy into Bitcoin um, simply to get the free Bitcoin cash, you need to be aware that... <clears throat> A lot of the wallets are not going to be supporting uh, Bitcoin Cash. In fact, Coinbase, GDAX, um, one of the largest holders of people's wallets, is has already announced ahead of time that they're not going to be supporting Bitcoin Cash at all. So 
you know, when this split happens and all that free Bitcoin cash comes out, they're keeping it. They're not giving it to you. So if your money is currently in um, a wallet on Coinbase, um, I would highly recommend you move that. Uh, Polynex, from as far as I can tell at this time, um, you know, we're, we're on July 30th, so we're only two days away from all this happening anyway. Um, on July 30th right now, I don't think uh, Polynex ha or Bitrix has announced either way what they're going to do. So at this time, we believe they're gonna, just going to keep their Bitcoin cash. So I wouldn't keep my Bitcoin there either. A Kraken and Bifinex have both announced that you will be receiving a Bitcoin cash wallet and any current money that you have in Bitcoin will be put into that Bitcoin cash wallet. And then of course, that's those are just the hosted wallets where they're not really true wallets. They're wallets that are hosted by other companies where you don't actually own the key and you don't actually have true ownership of that cryptocurrency. If you want true ownership, then what you need to do is you need to have your own wallet on the chain itself. You either need to have a offline wallet or, a, you know, one of the sticks, a Jack's wallet, um, many, many other wallets out there, even all the cell phone, most, well, I don't say all, because I don't know all of them, but most of the cell phone based wallets, um, as long as they're still being developed and they're at least going to hopefully support that, you might have if you have a wallet that doesn't natively support Bitcoin Cash, you may end up with some sort of difficulty in the future um, accessing your Bitcoin Cash, but you probably be able to use something to eventually get it. So if you really want to just make sure that you get your Bitcoin Cash for sure, move all your money to something like Jax or something where you have your own wallet that, you know, right on the blockchain or, um, go ahead and move the Kraken or Bifinex. Um, personally, I keep most of my Bitcoin right now on coins.ph and the founder of coins.ph is one of the number one supporters of Bitcoin Cash. So I'm pretty certain that he's gonna be supporting it. I haven't actually gone to their website as of yet to, de to determine whether or not they are definitively supporting it. Um, I'll probably put that in the comments here. Anyway, I would definitely believe that they would. So if they're not, I'm going to move all my money from uh, coins.ph over to my account at Kraken. Um, luckily, when I first got involved in cryptocurrencies a long, long time ago, Kraken was the first place I opened an account at. So I have an account there, have a little bit of Bitcoin over there. Anyway, that's pretty much uh, what Bitcoin Cash and how it's going to affect Ethereum. I hope you know, nobody has a crystal ball. I think the only negative effect of it is going to be competition for actually doing transactions. But the positive effect is there's going to be less difficulty in the mining side of things. So you're going to be able to mine more Ethereum with the same rigs that you have now. And on top of that, I believe that the price of Ethereum, as long as the uh, BCC doesn't present too huge of a competition, I think the price of Ethereum will rise as uh, soon as all this money floods in. The other thing is because of this, there's going to be a lot of news stories and a lot of awareness in the general public about cryptocurrencies. And every single time that happens, the price of Ethereum goes way up. Even if it's negative news about, you know, Bitcoin or whatever, the price of Ethereum usually still goes up. So I think it's, it's a very good time. I'm you know, I'm still holding. I'm not selling. I pretty much haven't made a major sell of my holdings um, since the middle of last year. So it's kind of fun. Um, I have actually received a lot more Ethereum because people have paid me in Ethereum in exchange for me to build them more mining rigs. So anyway, hopefully this video was helpful. If it was, uh, like the video, maybe subscribe to my channel. Um, I don't have separate channels yet. I don't do this professionally, so I still have some of my family things on the same channel, but um, hopefully if you enjoy this, I do put a lot of um, interesting videos about Ethereum on there. So anyway, thank you for watching. Emerald Computers is where to go if you want to find out anything more about 
um, what we do. Anyway, have an awesome day and add yourself to the Ethereum Mining Channel on Facebook.